Hello, Scorpio. This is your November 2018 reading. I wanted to do you first because Scorpio season will be coming up. But this is for Scorpio starting November 2018. It will not resonate with all Scorpios, so keep that in mind. I may pick up energies from the last reading and continue on from the last reading, or I may pick up a totally different energy. We shall see. But this is for Scorpio starting November 2018 Scorpio, Old Celtic Cross, November Scorpio. I do shuffle these prior and I meditate on your sign. I try to get the, as much energy as I can. I know Scorpio is having kind of a busy month in November. Seems that all the important planets are there. But the beginning energy is victory. It is the victory card. It is the Six of Wands. It's in the upright. So you're getting some kind of victory. And that makes sense with the um, all the planets that are in there. With Mercury, you got Venus, you got, you know, Jupiter still in your sign. So everything is going on for you. And you're being very busy. So I'm going to get a lot of different energies. And hopefully I can get them all together. There's celebration going on. This is the Three of Cups. This is uh, hanging out with friends, family, whatever, celebrating, having a good time, and, ha you know, happy memories. What's crossing it is work. Maybe you have to work. Maybe there's not enough work. Maybe, uh, like I said, some of you have to work and, and can't go out like you want to. Your goal is to take a break, maybe go on vacation for some of you. You have the ability to manifest as the foundation. Hopefully I get all these in here. You have the, you have the ability to manifest because you got the magician in the upright. These are good cards so far. In the past, you were dealing with the uh, Princess of Wands. This could be a uh, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius are in the upright. I will clarify these in just a minute. Great card. You got hope in, for the future, in the near future. I'm going to put these down because I want to clarify these first before I go on further. This is the here and now and the near future. Make sure I can get these all in the screen. Can I? I'll find out. Now, we got abundance coming. we got the Three of Cups. And remember, before that, you had the Victory card coming. Now, hopefully it ends well. But in the near future, it looks good. For November, it looks great so far. The Three of Cups with the Three of Pentacles, why are you there? Just tells me you may have to work, and at the same time you're trying to celebrate, have uh, uh, fun uh, with friends. Like I said, family celebrating, maybe some kind of birthday. It is your birthday month coming up for, uh, you know, November. So a lot of you are having your birthdays coming up in November. Not all of you, but some of you. The Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Why You There, great cards, both of them, Why You There. Three of Wands, man, you just got things, good things coming in. The Three of Wands is uh, uh, your ships coming in, uh, things you're wanting to come in that you saw from the distance that you were wishing for are finally coming, um, starting to pan out, I should say. <clears throat> now your goal is the Four of Swords. This is taking break, taking vacation, resting from worries. Uh, some of you may have been sick and getting over a cold, whatever. It's the Four of Swords. It's about taking a break. It is in the upright and it's a good card. It's also a truce card. It's uh, making peace with the people around you. So the Four of Swords, why are you there for Scorpio? For November 2018. Remember, this for November. Prince of Disc. Could be that you're taking on the Prince of Disc energy. It's in reverse. You may be feeling tired. Or you may be, maybe you had some troubles with the Prince of Disc and you need a break from this individual. It could be an Earth sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I get another card for the Four of Swords with the Prince of Disc in reverse. Some about an offer. You may slow down on an offer. You may need to be taking a break, like I said, having fun, vacations, manifesting what you want in life. But the goal of taking a break, you may take a little bit longer than usual. 
may take an extended vacation or a break from stress in general. Now the foundation, you got the magician, it is in the upright. It's manifestation, able to get the things you want done, able to manifest the things you want in your life. The magician card, why are you there for Scorpio? Great card. Hierophant has to do with contracts that were broke. You're, you may go back and try to fix a couple of contracts or job thing offers, situations. You may want to try to manifest something with a partner that maybe you, I hate to use the word broke off, but it could be. The Hierophant is in reverse, it's usually broken contracts. And maybe you're now, I gotta try to talk. Maybe you are now trying to manifest or able to manifest things that were broken in the past. I need another card from the Magician card and the Hierophant in reverse. Has to do with a, a broken heart coming out of heartbreak. Three of Swords in reverse. I'm going to go back into your past right here with the Princess of Wands. I have no idea who she is or he is. But they're in the upright. Why are you there? Princess of Wands for Scorpio in the past. New beginnings with this person in the past. Jumping in, not thinking about it, just, you know, deciding, you know, to be carefree. And, and passionate. The Fool card is in the upright. You're getting a lot of uprights, and I do read reversals. You've regained balance with this person in the past and maybe having a new beginning with them. Maybe you're trying to manifest with this person. Maybe it was a, a broken contract. Maybe there was sorrow in the past. Maybe someone had a third party. It doesn't have to be a third party, <clears throat> but I am seeing a lot of threes here, so there's more than one person that was involved in the situation. Not necessarily an affair, but people were getting into your business and now you're able to manifest something. Now in the near future, you got the star card, another beautiful card in the upright. This is the near future. This is for November. The star card, why are you there for Scorpio in the near future? Oops, two wants to come out. I'm going to let it. This is an offer of some sort. I'm thinking this is your energy. This is the Knight of Cups in the upright. The Knight of Cups in the upright is an emotionally sound, stable, passionate person. But when they give an offer, it's an offer from the heart. It's an offer of friendship, of love. So you have hope for an offer of love and friendship. Something that you may have felt trapped before and couldn't talk before. You know, give your messages before. You're having hopes. And sometimes with this hope, and you got the magician right here. You're able to manifest whatever you're hoping for, wishing for. Now, the possible future outcome and the advice card, hopefully it's a positive one. We have the Queen of Swords in the upright. I call her the badass card because she is, he or she. They are the ones that, <clears throat> when they speak, it's kind of abrupt sometimes, but they mean well. Uh... They're good communicators. They know their stuff when, you know, professionally and personally. They're the go-to person when you got a problem because they can get, uh, they can fix a situation right away. They're, they're what you call a know-it-all, but they, they really are know-it-alls. They, they're wise people. The old wise soul, I call them. Queen of Swords, why are you there as a possible future outcome or the advice card for Scorpio in November? has to do with finances. Maybe this person's going to help you with finances or you're going to help them. Maybe they're going to offer you something. This, this is a uh, stability, final outcome of stability and gaining what you want. Scorpio's getting so far is pretty good and not getting defensive. So if this is an advice that says don't get defensive with the queen of, queen of swords because it has to do with uh, finances, this person's going to help you. Or it could actually be this person somehow helps you if you're not yourself taking on this energy. It can be an air sign or, like I said, someone taking on energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Like I said, they're in the upright. So if it's the final outcome, it's really good. And this person will probably will not be defensive, and you shouldn't be defensive. And it could be that they help you. With the advice, it could be like, don't give... 
don't get defensive with this air sign or someone taking on this energy because they could help you with finances that actually help you reach your goals. Now, what is coming towards you, Scorpio? The art card again. You got balance. It's still at work. You're still trying to gain it, but it's coming towards you. Balance, security, getting things done the way you want to. The art card. Why are you coming towards Scorpio? Fortune. Good fortune. Gosh, I wish these were my cards. Good fortune. I hope the ending is just as good. And offers of friendship and love, new beginnings. And I'm going to show you these. Like, look, I'm going to show you. All the cards are there. All the negatives are there. I am shuffling these. I did not just add positives. They are all there. I want you to see that because this is hard to believe. It's so good. I hope it stays this way. Now, your hopes and fears. You're fearing the Princess of Dis. Now, I noticed that the goal over, is overturned over here, the, the Prince of Dis, which is pretty much the same energy as the Earth element. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are in reverse. Maybe you fear this person that has this energy. Maybe you're afraid things are going too slow also. Princess of Cup, I mean Disc, ugh, why are you there? Something about working with them. Collaboration. Maybe you're afraid you won't be able to work with this person. Can I get another card for the Princess of Dis and the Three of Pentacles? You did have it as your cross card over here, so that now it makes sense. You're a little bit worried about work and collaboration, possibly, with this individual. Can I get another card? There's a, the Knight of Dis in reverse. Yeah, you're really afraid things are going to go too slow and that... Um, it won't work out. Your fear, your fear is it may be going too slow or it won't work out. Final, final outcome, and I hope it's a good card. We'll find out. Strength. You got all good cards. I have not had this yet since I began reading, which will be a year, um, November 7th. This, these are the best cards I have ever gotten for any sign that were, I don't very little negative. Very little negative. It is past stuff that you're putting behind you. Slow energy you're fearing of. But the strength card. Regaining strength. Energy. Courage. Why are you there, strength card? Happiness. I can't believe this. Nine of Cups. Regaining strength and happiness. It's good to be you, Scorpio. This is good to be you. This resonates with you, and you're feeling this energy. It's a good one. And if you're not feeling this energy, try to take it on. Yeah, you're fearing success. You may. I'm, I'm thinking you're going to get some success. I need another card for the strength card and happiness, and then I'm letting this go. It's the why. Because this is just too good to be true. I mean, it really is. This, these are excellent cards. And I'll show you my other deck to show you. I put out all the cards. Give me another card for the Strength card and the Happiness card. The Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. With the Prince of Cups. In the past, you probably thought, because this is the Y card. The Prince of Cups is Y. Because you weren't happy before and you're going to regain strength. You were turned around. The Prince of Cups, I do feel that is your energy. A lot of times when I get this card for my own personal readings, which I do, I also get professional readings just like everybody else. This is usually a Scorpio. It's the turnaround card. So it could be that you felt unhappy and you're still feeling a slight unhappiness. It could have to do with this disc energy, this earth energy. But realize um, happiness is coming. You're regaining strength because in the past, you were always unhappy. You weren't getting what you want. Now things are starting to open up for a lot of you. So if you've got this energy, you feel this energy coming towards you, take it like the magician that you are and manifest something. Don't let it don't let it slide by you. Okay? You're not walking away from something. You're standing your ground. I don't see you walking away crying. This is the uh eight of cups in reverse. Some people say it's they're stuck walking away crying when I do this. I do not feel, because of all these cards you've got here that are positive, that you're walking away crying. I think it's a good, this is a good spread. 
the best, like I said, yet. And this is your reading, Scorpio. Strength and happiness, if you take it, is up to you. And I'll be reading again probably for the middle of November. You will be first again. Talk to you later. Bye.